Well, today on Nation, the window cleaning podcast, we're talking about pro versus bucket bob. And if you don't know which one you are, or you don't know what differentiates it, please stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Welcome to WCR Nation, the window cleaning podcast. Well, it's really a podcast designed for anybody in the service industry. We only focus on the business side of things, not uh, how to clean a window. I'm not going to show you that. I'm not going to show you cool tools or... Well, there's lots of other people for that, but we talk business here. We talk shop, so thanks for hanging out. If it's first time, take a look around. Hopefully it is awesome, or at least it doesn't suck. There's a lot of episodes. We're doing, This is two plus years hundreds of episodes, uh, hundreds of thousands of downloads. There's a lot to catch up on. Go back, watch it. But most importantly, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource, and I'd love to be your rep. Truly, my number is 862-312-2026. Save that number in your phone as Jersey WCR or whatever the heck you want. Crooked nose guy. I don't care. Save that number. It's 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. Let me put your orders in. That would be epic. I can answer questions, business-related or product questions. I can put orders in. You can even put everything in your cart overnight and then just shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey. Everything's in my cart. Put it in. Because at the end of this show, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off. You can use that if I put the order in for you. So please do do that. And... One other thing, again, because it happened again, make sure you tell me the code before I put the order in. Don't, like, 10 minutes later be like, oh, the code was this, because I can't retroactively give you that. So, yeah, anyway. (sighs) Well, thank you very much. And all of you who are out there that are loyal and listening, you guys are absolutely epic. Those of you who let me put orders in, literally... It has been an absolutely amazing year because of you guys. Um, I know the year is kind of winding down, but I've met and gotten so many amazing customers and clients now. It's uh, phenomenal. I really, I mean, if you guys could know how truly genuinely happy I am when you let me put orders in Big or Little, it, it truly is how I make my cheddar and it's how I make my living and pay my bills and feed my family and cats and dogs. Anyway. There you go. Enough about that. I want to give some shout outs. First off, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Brochacho himself, Dan Sturm. What's going on, man? Uh, Edward, <laughs> Eduardo Mendoza, Adam Dreher, David Rodriguez. I don't know if it's you or your wife, but either way, what's up? And uh, Zach Sandro, what's going on, man? You guys are absolutely epic. Just some of the cool kids. I like to give shout outs to the cool kids uh, every single week, and those are some of it. So, uh, what is going on? So, anyway, this week, we're going to be talking about Pro versus Bucket Bob. Now, let me preface this. Like, I preface that for every every episode. I'm just some guy. And I'm not telling you that the way you're doing things is wrong. I'm not. I'm telling you my thoughts and uh, what I think about it. Now, being a Bucket Bob does not mean you're new. I've had people before, every time we have the Bucket Bob competition or talk, people are like, oh, I'm a Bucket Bob, but but I'm new. And that's, listen, being new does not mean that you're a Bucket Bob. Be, being new means you're getting into it. Now, if you'd had $100,000 to just drop on everything to be completely professional all at one time, good on you, man. But a lot of us have to start. The faster we can get out of the Bucket Bob, uh, the faster we're going to get into another tier of just quality company, right? We're very focused here about the building of the company, the strengthening of the company, the company itself. And a bucket bob just is just somebody in my brain who's out there doing it for beer money. And we all know those guys or girls, right? The guy who's the competition in town and he shows up on his bicycle with his bag of paper towels, smoking a cigarette as he's cleaning, like, yes. Those guys will always be there. They'll always be um, cleaning windows, but I don't want to say competition, right? There is no competition on a certain level. There is no competition on a bucket bob compared to somebody who's legitimate, right? 
because the person who's hiring the bucket bob doesn't care about anything but price you're not going to beat them on price so why try right everybody's so focused on price 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 oh i'm not getting enough work i gotta lower my price no increase your value tell people why your cost what you are again i always talk about cars and i'm gonna do it again i know somebody who just bought a tesla it's like forty seven thousand dollar car car it's a car just a car you can also go and get a kia for fifteen thousand dollars you can get multiple kias for the price you get a tesla but the tesla's this is this is not even a luxury version it's just the tesla 3 but why does somebody buy the tesla what does it have to offer that the kia doesn't that right there whatever you're thinking in your head that's why people buy the tesla because they know what it has to offer that the kia does it not nothing wrong with kia kia is not a bad manufacturer i'm just using it for an example i think the kia rio i don't know if that's still around but there was a deal way back when this is years ago you literally bought a car you got one free you remember that deal it was crazy but you still had to pay taxes on both of them so a lot of people didn't do it but still still interesting um but that is why tesla never goes oh man we are just not selling a lot of cars ferrari lamborghini um, mercy log all the like big brands they're not going oh gosh you know how we can increase our sales you know you know how we could sell more cars is decrease our price we should drop our price to match these other guys you know how much like a a chevy car is right now uh we should match them that's why i'm not that's why we're not selling any of these uh um high-end jaguar cars no nobody does that so focusing on why you are what you are as compared to how much you're charging is a big difference now i'm going to go over 10 reasons and differences that are between a pro and a bucket bob but really what gets you out of a bucket bob and into the pro side of things that's what we're going to talk about today i got off on a tangent on the price but I had another conversation about price and somebody said they thought they were too expensive and I said what a value do you bring from the other one and he couldn't answer that and I said yeah then you're too expensive if you can't tell me why you're better than them you, that's just a fact but anyway let's get on number 10 in this list is uh, answering the phones and responding now the difference between a pro and a uh, bucket Bob is this is if you let things go to voicemail everybody does I'm on the phone all day, every day. So a lot of times people call and leave a voicemail or shoot me a text. But the big thing is, is the responding. Responding is the part that differentiates you. Now, yes, you can get an answering service. That's awesome. That takes care of that problem. You get an answering service. Somebody's always answering. That hugely sets you apart when somebody answers your phone going, thanks for calling Jersey Inc. How can I help you? every single time they call i'd like to set up an appointment okay great let me take down some of your information and we'll get that out to you have have jersey call you in just a couple minutes like that is what sets you out so paying for a phone service is awesome but even if you don't do that all you have to do is return your calls as soon as you get back into the truck you sit in the parking lot and you return your calls real quick don't do the whole i'll call them tomorrow maybe because they're already called somebody else right it's very hard if you're out in the field to return calls. Now, if you're not out in the field and you're in the office and you're holding down the fort, you need to do that ASAP. You need to, as soon as you're off the phone, answer. That has to be your number one priority is answering phones. It has to be. Because that is the most important thing. When people call you, they are looking to buy your services right then and there. A bucket bob doesn't care. He'll call them back when he does. A week later. Three days later. Two days later. It's too long. Hey, uh, yeah, this is uh, Tommy. Uh, just uh, returning your call about some uh, windows. Uh, no, man, I. You don't care about me. I'm not caring about you, right? Differentiate your, yourself. Answer your phone or return your calls. Uh, number nine is insurance. This is another one that people overlook, but don't overlook. People don't know that you have insurance until you show them a certificate. I am overinsured, two million dollar policy, and I have. Uh, um, uh, certificate of insurance printed out in a folder I can give to anybody at any time. Some people are like, well, that's how they know you have insurance and then they're going to scam you. Fine. I don't care. 
You want insurance for anybody? They'll get you the information. You want to scam an insurance company? That's federal fraud. You can do that, and that's not, that's not on me, right? Insurance companies are not stupid. They're not multi-billion dollar companies because they let people do fraud. I'm going to show that I'm insured to everybody. When I'm doing a proposal, I'm going to give them an insurance packet. If I'm doing an on-site, I'm giving all the information, I'm going to give them my insurance. I'm going to have it on my website. I'm going to have it in my digital pro uh, proposal packets. I'm going to have it everywhere because I want people to know I'm not a bucket bob and I'm insured because I care. And the other thing is I know people who have killed themselves in companies and businesses because they weren't insured. Don't be that person. Be insured. Yes, it costs some money to not be a bucket bob, but the peace of mind. You get enough stress. Don't stress yourself from not being insured. And the number eight is clean appearance. This is one we always talk about and people kind of joke about uh, what I call a dumpster vehicle. A dumpster vehicle is when you show up at a job, you open your door, it squeaks when you open it because you apparently can't find some WD-40 or oil. You open your door and cups fall out and there's like crap all in the windshield. You ever see that? You know when you see another like contractor truck and there's like receipts and papers and like they can only look at it. That is absolutely a dumpster vehicle are you are you driving a dumpster vehicle right now tell me if you are if you're watching on youtube comment down below tell me you're riding a dumpster vehicle i, I want to know um but no really um dumpster vehicles make you look like crap they make your company look like crap and you are a cleaning company your job is to clean windows wash houses clean roofs if you can't keep yourself clean it looks like you don't care. And that's what a bucket bob is. A bucket bob to me is somebody who just doesn't care. They're doing it for beer money, right? Or other kind of money. And they just don't care. I'm not building anything. I just need some. I made a hundred bucks today. That's all. I'll do it tomorrow. Right? That is what a bucket bob is. You have to care. Another big part of that appearance is you. What do you look like? Now, I'm going to go on a slight derailment here. Comment down below. Tell me all your, I really, really do. Take me, if you're on YouTube or if you're listening to this in a podcast, go to YouTube, tell me this, what your thoughts are. I moved from Wisconsin where it seemed like everybody smoked all the time. And I moved to North Carolina where they actually grow tobacco and no one smokes here. I cannot tell you, I will go months without seeing a person smoking anywhere, anywhere. There's just nobody smoking anywhere. Um, and if you're a contractor and you're smoking in your truck on your way to the job, you stink like cigarettes. I smoked for a long time. I stunk like cigarettes. I made it a, 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 a point to have changes of clothes and things like that. And I still stunk. If you stink like cigarettes then you don't have a professional appearance. Now, if you need to do something different so that you don't smell like that, I'm not telling you to quit smoking. Enough people have told you that. Uh, smoke, you know, vape or something in a car, you know, if you're in between jobs and smoke afterwards or something. Changing that, the nose is one of those senses that is so strong for what they remember, people who smell, people who smell good, all that trigger something huge that's one of the first impressions of smell if you stink i'm telling you other people are taking jobs from you nobody wants you around if you smell that's a hard truth especially in contractors because a lot of smoke okay so that's another thing in appearance um you have to get that kind of dialed in if you don't think you smoke uh smell ask somebody who doesn't smoke if they can smell you I'm telling you it's worse than you think um but yeah, appearance, just keep it clean. That's a big one. Uh, and apparel kind of tags off that. That's the number seven is apparel. Have a shirt that's logoed and lettered. I can put a giant sign on the back of a t-shirt and that t-shirt's still gonna be 10 bucks if I buy a couple of them, right? Less than that. I think we were paying seven or eight bucks at a time and don't, before you send me messages, it was a local person, check your local people. They gotta be doing something. A single color shirt, cotton tee with a single color print. But you know something, you look better than just wearing normal clothes. Having everybody have sort of the same outfit on, right? Okay, our shorts, if you're wearing shorts, they have to be cargo khaki shorts. That was our rule. 
if you are wearing pants, they have to be blue jeans. They can't be black. They can't be white. They can't be khaki pants. They have to be blue jeans, right? And then you always have our our, our tops. Always going to be a printed top or a, a embroidered top or a sweatshirt that is printed or a hat that's printed or a coat that's printed. Everything is always printed because here's the thing. Think about a company that you know that's professional. Everything they have is branding. It shows that they're professional because they have all the apparel. I'm telling you, look at a company that you see in your area that you think has just got their stuff together. They have everything from hats to letter gloves. I mean, it costs money to do that, yeah. But it sets you apart. It sets you apart hugely. Another one, number six, is tools. If you are running with Home Depot stuff, the quality results and just the feel and use of them are going to show through, right? If you have that same tool that somebody sees that they can find also at Lowe's or Home Depot, I have a hair in my eye, um, then, you know, it doesn't set you apart. Now, having tools doesn't necessarily mean you have to have the $6,700 water fit pole that we sell or the $18,000 water fit trailer that we sell. What it means is, is that when you're reinvesting in your company, invest in tools that are just to another degree. Using blue hook towels instead of microfibers. Using a um, bucket on a belt to hold your tools. Having a square bucket or rectangle bucket instead of a Home Depot bucket. These are all things that make you look like a window cleaner. Having a screen cleaner is awesome, but you don't have to go to that degree if you don't want. But tools are huge. Think about it. Not just a guy who you're listening to right now talk about tools, but having tools that are the professional grade, professional quality, professional look. I'm telling you, I sell a butt ton of stuff. That's horrible. I sell a lot of things uh, because somebody sees me using a screen cleaner. Somebody sees me using a water fit pole. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Cleaning windows. Really? Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Let me show you. The, this is this filtration. I'm not using any soap. It's purified water. Just like in a car wash. Buy free rinse. Did you want us to do uh, your windows? Maybe get you a quote? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because it shows them that you're investing in a company, that you're legit. You're a pro. People want to hire a pro. If they want to hire a bucket, Bob, then they're going to be so low in price you don't want them anyway. And you're not going to get everybody. That's something that takes time to kind of figure out. You're not going to have everybody. You're not going to close everybody. And everybody's not going to want you. Let's keep that in mind. But have the right tools for the job. Have the newest, best, professional grade tools. And if you need somebody, 862-312-2026. No, I'm kidding. Um, half kidding. Uh, but number five is being re- respectful. And in this one is is tough. Because I've talked to people who you can obviously tell do not care obviously 100% do not give two dumps about you when they're talking. Everybody's been in that that retail location too. Hey, welcome to XYZ. Um, you're saying hi to me? Hey. Hey, can I do you, um do you know if you have any of this? Yeah, no, I think we're out. Like they don't care. Right? If you don't care, that's what the bucket bobs do. That's why they don't call you back. That's why their car looks like a dumpster. That's why they smoke, chain smoke and stink and have dirty clothes and they don't care. You have to care. And caring means just like if you go into some, hey, how are you, sir? Good. Oh, great. Being above and beyond professional, being courteous, being super nice and respectful, that will set you apart. It's hard sometimes when you're having a crappy day. But make a note next time you're talking to somebody to be over the top respectful, I'm telling you. It gives off an awesome persona and changes the way you think. And all your people too. Make sure they are too. Uh, But number four is paperwork and forms, which nobody wants to kind of talk about. But as you see, we're getting up the list. These are more important things to me. I think, and again, just a guy with a mic that you can see. Sorry for you people listening on the the podcast. But um, (laughs) all of the forms need to have a uniform look to them every envelope has to look like the form that's in the envelope and the business cards need to look like the form and think again about a company that you got a letter from or an invoice from 
or a what anything and it all looks the same right do you remember back in the day there was a single color like you get business cards super cheap and it was like a single color it was like almost raised ink no one uses that anymore now they're and i have one too far away but now you should see the cards i have a matte finish trifecta three layered business card with a red stripe in the middle because that red is the wcr logo those cards are off the chain that when i hand it to you you go oh instantly builds like this guy's a professional if i hand you like a you know um uh office depot like sales slip like oh here's your quote and i rip you some generic that doesn't look that awesome if i write on a napkin that looks like a bucket bob so having the forms that all look like each other all logoed all maybe have the same feel that's huge when i do uh we've, which we talked about before but i do my third slips and my my third sheets are a third of a page that are different services each one of those looks the same with different pictures and different writing but they all look the same so that when you look at it it's all a common form looking it's all my logo it's all got the uh, my my uh logo itself behind there with my name every one of them looks like that you want to know what else looks just like that form my truck my truck looks like that our envelopes have the same look the same side the same everything on there everything looks the same it sets you apart. And remember, if we're professional, and we're not a bucket bob, we're charging professional prices. We're making a strong company. You've never, ever, 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 and if you think I'm wrong, tell me, you've never seen a company that runs like a bucket bob that is a multi-million dollar company, right? You've never seen it because a professional company runs differently. That's what you need to be. You don't necessarily need to make millions. I'm talking about strengthening your company and making it professional. Professional. And forms and paperwork are one of those things people usually forget. So tidy those up. And listen, we're going into winter. Look at all the stuff that I'm talking about. Just for, you know, poos and gr grins and giggles. What's the, I can't say the, the swear, but yeah, you know. Just do it. <laughs> Look, oh God look it up and uh, see where you are on all this stuff and what you can change. I mean, winter is a great time for us as service contractors to fix things, change things. So when we hit spring, we're a whole new company. We've shed some skin and now we, uh, we look and feel and run awesome. So definitely do that. Um, number three, uh, this one is a harder to understand or convey but it's always be relevant. And here's what I mean by that. You need to be everywhere. So you need to have everything logoed. You need to have your stuff there. They need to see your trucks. They need to see if you're doing route work, you got your shirts on, but they also need to see you say on Craigslist and Facebook, and they need to see you on uh, Instagram and they need to see you at some charity event they were at and the little league games got a banner up like all those things that don't necessarily pay for you to be there's no roi in donating your money to a softball team but the people who are on the softball or are watching softball or at the field they see that banner they see that and it just puts you to another level again look at the companies that are doing that those are the companies that have their poo together so being relevant, just having a Facebook page, making sure that you have fresh content on a Facebook page every single day, multiple times a day, Instagram, right? Sharing things into mom groups off of Facebook, sharing things onto different, so they always see your logo. They always see that same image. They see that same thing. They see all the work that you're doing makes you relevant. It makes you professional. Staying relevant is huge. It's the same reason that McDonald's still advertises when everybody in the country knows what a McDonald's is. They're in every magazine, TV ad, radio, billboards, buses, everything. They're everywhere. And if you ever look, their logo in the placement on the bag of the food, and this is any fast food place, is the same that's on the package of the wrappers on the food. And it's the same logo that's above the toilets in the bathroom. And it, right? That's how these companies do it. They brand everything. Everything is logoed. Everything's got the same feel. 
when a company remodels like that, it's for that feel. It's to change the feel of it. Always be relevant. The number two, one of the most important things you could possibly do, and again, this will cost you a little bit of money, but is a website. I cannot stress enough about your website. And if you have one, awesome, high five. Does it suck? Probably. Probably, let me rephrase that. Probably doesn't suck. It's probably awesome. But it probably could use some work. If you really, really look at it, how is it getting out there? How's your SEO getting done? Are you having somebody do your SEO? Uh, Did somebody build your site or did you build it? Did you spend a winter and do it? Maybe it's time where that's where you invest your money to make that site amazing. Having an amazing website will 1,000% make you more pro than Buck Bob. And it will sell you more work and make you more money than anything else that you can do. The ROI on a website is continual. As long as it's being SEO'd and it's being put somewhere. SEO work, search engine optimization, that means getting that website somewhere where somebody can actually find it. If somebody types in your name, yeah, they'll find it. But if I type in window cleaning in New Mexico, does yours pop up? What about your city name? What about your city next to you? What about what terms are people using in your area that you're not popping up? Because if they're searching something and you're not popping up, then your website's worthless. If I had a website right now on this computer that I'm recording on, but it's not connected to the internet, uh, oh gosh, internet, but it's on there, but nobody can see it. It's on there. It's amazing. It's the best website you've ever seen. It, it will blow you away. Oh, can I look at it? No, because uh, it's not on. It's only on my computer, so it's nobody can see it. If nobody sees it, it doesn't matter, right? Why do you think if some people collect stuff, they put them in glass cases so people can see them? If no one is seeing your website, it's not doing anything. That's the fact. SEO is super important, and having a website, if you don't have one, is super important. Having a website that blows people away is huge. Again, I'm going to give you a plug here, but if you don't get any other information, take this away. Just a Monk SEO is amazing. Amazing. They're website builders. They do SEO work. They're phenomenal. Phenomenal. This was Chris Cartwright. He was doing this also before they merged in with them. Cartwright does amazing stuff. 462 Concepts. That Justin Monk SEO is absolutely one of the most amazing companies I've ever dealt with. Now, I've known Justin for a very long time. So understand, I would consider him a friend. But also understand that I've never, ever, ever, ever had results like I did by using them, ever. When I moved to a new state, I went from no website, no company, I didn't exist, to front page of Google in under three months. Understand that fact. The front page of Google is what, 10, 15 listings of anything country, companies, ads, national companies? That's absolutely mind-blowing. Still mind-blowing to me. But anyway, Justin Monk. Good. Talk to him. Go search on Facebook. Justin Monk. M-O-N-K. SEO. Just He's in all the groups. He's phenomenal. Tell him Jersey sent you. Because literally... I would 100% uh, think he's amazing. But going with somebody like that who's now their job to SEO and rank you, having somebody actively ranking you is just like having ads out all the time. It's huge. It's huge. No Bucket Bob Anywhere has ads. No Bucket Bob Anywhere has a website. They just don't care. But you're not a Bucket Bob, so you care. Get a website. Get a website. Number one, for me, and uh, this was a toss-up between website. You could tell how passionately uh, I love websites. Um, but the website is people have to find you. But here's another one that's an image to separate, differentiate you is logoing your truck. That is huge. And I'm not talking about, oh, I put a vinyl, I put a magnet on there. Listen, you magnet guys out there, you got to step your game up just a bit. Magnet's better than nothing. I'll give you that. But... When you have, and I'm not talking about a full wrap. If you want to go that route, awesome. Understand you're not making a billboard. Don't put every service and quote and thought. You should have like a dozen words on that wrap. You should have window cleaning. Pressure washing, maybe. 
That's it. Don't tell them that you do roofs. Don't tell them you do concrete. Don't tell them you do flat work. Don't tell them you do inside, outside, external, window sills, track sills, frames. Don't tell them that. None of that matters because they have to call you first. Big letters, what you are, your phone number, and a website, and no one's seen you drive, but your car's going to be parked places. But every time you show up somewhere, they're going to see what? Giant logo. Giant logo. And the words window cleaning. So now when they're looking for window cleaning, they're going to recognize that. They're going to see you somewhere and write your number down. I'm telling you, it pays for itself. It's expensive, but it pays for itself. You're talking, let's say, six to ten grand, and you could have yourself the most epic website and most epic wrap on a vehicle ever, making so much money. But do you have that money sitting around to do it? Maybe it's time to do some financial lending right? I know people are always uh, hating on the credit card thing, but uh, for business, it's completely different. You could have that and pay that off in spring. Get it all done this winter. Anyway, whatever. Who am I? I'm a nobody. Go and do that. Check out Justin Monk because again, website is so stinking valuable. But most importantly, order your supplies through me. Huh? Huh? There's the shameless plug. I'm really good at those shameless plugs. I throw them in there. But if you're not ordering your supplies through me yet, why? Is it too much of a hassle? Why Why don't you buy from me? <laughs> why don't you? No. Uh, do call me. 862-312-2026. A little off the rails there. But you guys have made my year epic. I absolutely have, thank you so much for everything and uh, letting me put that in. And you guys who are so loyal to me and putting every single order in, it blows me away. Thank you so, 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 so much. And I want to have you, if you're not buying from me, I want to have you as one of my customers. I want to be your rep. I want to be the guy you know. I got people, all I do all day long is emails, text, calls, helping people. I want to help you too. So if this show's done anything for you, let me know if I can help you in any other way. 862-312-2026. It's a cell call or text it. Either way, this week, the uh, uh, code for 5% off is going to be Bob. No, let's do Bucket Bob. It's Bucket Bob. That's the code. If you call or text me, uh, texting is what I do most of, but if you call, text me and say, yo, everything's in my cart, Jersey. This week's code is Bucket Bob. Not only are you helping me uh, make some cheddar, it's costing you nothing and uh, you're getting 5% off of free shipping. So go do that. Go try not to be a bucket bob. Winter is coming. You need to plan all the things you're going to change about your company and make it bigger and better. Go and do that. And most importantly, go and be epic. 